Hmm. So if the market goes overbought and I have RSI below 20 and I have this market pin bar on a structure, I can go actually long. Let me write this down, let me check it out, let me see the expectancy of that strategy. What I just described are some kind of rules that I just made up. I don't know what, it just came to me and I just said it out loud in front of the camera. But today's topic of a video will be rules and how can they affect your trading psychology when you're going through the rough periods or in a drawdown. So stay tuned because we are coming right back. <laughs> so yeah, rules, huh? Today we're gonna talk about rules. I'm sure you heard that in the previous part of this video, in the intro part, and I hope I got your attention. And I'm, I keep repeating the importance of rules because the rules, introducing rules into my trading drastically changed it. So I believe if you just introduce or and give the opportunity of testing my theories in your trading will change your trading to the better as well. So let me just begin with, with the idea that you have a rule-based strategy and how can it affect you. Okay, so let's assume that market goes into some the market goes in one direction, you don't know where. And you have a sequence that says, if this happens, I'm gonna do this. Then if that happens, I'm waiting for this. And if I get that signal, then I need a higher, higher, or higher, low, whatever you need as an entry, and then I'm gonna go long or short. And you tested this exact sequence over the time period for like, you, you need to have at least 100 trade sample, and you know that over the long run on a specific market, on a specific pair, for example, Euro dollar, you, it will be profitable. What this sequence, what these rules does to you is so much more bigger than you being profitable. What I mean, maybe this is the wrong term, but uh, bear with me here for a second. So what it does is it removes emotions from your trading. Sure, it's not gonna, you're not gonna feel awesome when you, when that trade, that specific, when you follow that rule set and that one of those trades hits your stop loss. No, you're not gonna be excited. You're not gonna be happy. You're, you will be, you will have some kind of a negative emotion or not negative, but a, not a positive one. Uh, but you will not attach this emotion to your decision because your decision is made of a specific rule set. So it's just like a following a system. You're becoming your, your uh, reactions in your market are becoming more robotic. You're doing it, everything as an algorithm. You, you're programmed, you're just taking action based on the if-then sequence. And that's why it, that's so powerful. If that happens, I'm gonna do this. If I'm waiting for this, then I'm gonna do that. that it, it's as simple as that. It removes completely, you're not attaching losses to yourself and you're not getting thoughts like, oh, maybe I should have waited for this thing to happen or maybe I should have done this or why did I, oh yeah, maybe I needed to take a look at the three previous candles and maybe they, they would give me a hint that I shouldn't go long or short or whatever you did. Ah, uh, man, it's so frustrating. Trading is so frustrating. I just don't, I, I, this strategy doesn't work. I'll just skip it. No, none of this will happen. Why? because you know that over the long run, at the end of the day, you will be profitable and you don't care about anything else, right? Because you're not attaching that any, any of the trades you took per your rules, you, you, you will know that you didn't do anything wrong, you did everything correct. And because you did it correct, you, needed, you need to do the same thing again and again and again and again, and you will be profitable. That's looking that's trading when you have a specific system, when you have a rule-based system, when you backtest the everything, and when you know expectancy. Because look, let's say that on that specific rule set, you're winning 50% of time, and the other 50% of time you're losing, right? So what happens? You win, you can win, you can lose, 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 and then let's say that five times in a row you can take a loser, and the other five, they might be winners. But the risk to reward, let's say on this specific example, would be two to one. So at the end of the day, it would be like you took 10 winners. 
and you don't know the order because we cannot predict the market we can assume where the market will be where market will go based on the historic information which we get and gathered through the back testing but we never know we never know the sequence of winners and losers we just know that they, something's going to happen either the price action will hit your stop loss or the price action will hit your take profit level the, only those two, two things can happen and when you know the expectancy on a big enough sample of trades you will not be attached to any of those trades that makes the trading easier than it is because trading is not complicated it's simple it, it just requires a lot of work but it's simple it's not easy because not a lot of people uh, can de detach themselves from the trades they took now this was the example i hope you have, i hope you find valuable and this is the example of taking trades based on the rules based on the rules yeah i, I purposely repeated it now let's assume that you don't have rules okay what happens in your mind when you take a trade you have a feeling right every every one of us who is trading has a feeling for the market Got a right so for example the other day i don't know do you see charts uh, maybe some of those charts is aussie usd and i i, I the market will trade higher than it, it was so based on the strategy that i'm currently back testing on a different pair i marked the zone on the chart and i said okay if i'm just gonna follow i'm just gonna follow the price action i'm gonna get engaged but if we get a higher, higher, higher close candle in that, uh, in that zone that I marked on the chart, I'm going to think that I, I might get long. Like th this is my idea in my head. I'm not taking any trades. And market violated my bottom, bottom level of that zone. So I did not get engaged. However, immediately after violation of that zone, market did reverse and eventually would hit my would be target. So, but I had a feeling I had no rule set, right? So imagine me going long in that specific zone on a feeling, putting my stop loss below that zone and market hitting my stop loss without me knowing the expectancy. The immediately what would go through my mind is, okay, maybe I shouldn't, I, maybe I didn't need to go that long on that price point, right? Maybe I should have waited for this candle, right? Okay, yeah, next time I'm gonna wait for that candle. And uh, then I go on a different market and I go along in a similar scenario, not the same one. And you remember when you have rules, you backtested the same scenario and you gotta take it each and every time, right? You're not trading similar things. You're trading same things over and over and over and over again, right? So that's the whole point. When you're trading similar stuff, it's not the same, not the same things are, uh, not the same things will happen. Not the market's not gonna develop the same thing. Because you have a different, something might be a little bit different that has a different aspect to the, to, to the price action. So you, we have to trade the same, same things. But when you don't have that rule set, bad things go through your mind. Specifically when you're in a drawdown and that drawdown will come. So you, you are trading by your feelings and you are taking trade after trade after trade. And you're just becoming more and more and more frustrated because you don't know what's wrong because you're trading by your feelings. But if you have rules, when you're in the drawdown, you're not worried because you're not trading by your feeling, you're doing everything right. You're just following a plan. And you know that by following that plan over the long run, but trust me, you know, going through the drawdown, even when you have rules, is not exciting. It's pretty, pretty frustrating, but you know, you, you, at least you know and have confidence that you're not doing anything wrong. And you can go back and take a look at your trading journal and then you can see have you done anything wrong did you make any trading mistakes that would be uh, not per your trading plan if yes you can you know you can uh think about it fix it in next time write it down and focus not to repeat it but when you're trading by your feelings you don't know what you're doing you're just feeling the market so yeah i hope you get the gist of it what i'm trying to tell you what, hope that you understand what I'm, the difference between having a, a rule-based trading plan and a feeling-based something, wouldn't call it a trading plan because it's not a trading plan because you're trading by your feelings. 
and there are no feelings in the market. Remember, Jesse Livermore, I, I, I cannot pronounce her, his last name, but he said the uh, market is never wrong, only opinions are. So when you're approaching the market, you shouldn't have the opinion, you just gotta follow a rule-based plan. When you incorporate rules in your trading, I bet you, I bet you right now, and you can post comments below, by the way, uh, to take me on that bet, that your trading and your returns will uh, improve. Because, and you will be so much more relaxed when you're trading and not so stressed because you will have a strict plans, you will have the guidelines and you will just have to follow them. And which brings us to the end of this video. I hope you find it valuable. If you do, yeah, please comment below. Let me know what you think. Also, please consider subscribing if you're new to this channel. I do these educa educational videos about trading and uh, emotions in trading and investing a few times per week and on a daily basis if we have some kind of a action in the market i do my daily forex market analysis with that being said yeah if you're new to the channel please click that subscribe button smash the like button smash the bell button share the video comment below and let me know what you think about it thank you very much and talk to you soon